Since the dawn of mankind, since man started settling one spot, they started domesticating rabbits. Mm -hmm. And up until the last 50, 100 years, that was a regular source of protein. Now, when people started making cartoons and regular feature length films with animals speaking, uh -huh. became popular. <laughs> um, you know, rabbit was a regular part of people's meals, whether right. you hunted it or it was domesticated. Right. It is delicious, yes, it's it healthy. Is. Um, it's not that fatty at all. It's very good for you. What a good source of protein. Now, what is this we got from Mac? And we'll go visit him later. But that's garlic. It looks like an onion, but it's garlic. I guess you could call that a garlic starter before it pods it's out. Not... That's it looks like an onion. Wow, it smells amazing. It smells like garlic. Well, it is. It's because, as, as it's he garlic. said, it it's is garlic. garlic. <laughs> now, tonight we're going to use a cast iron Dutch oven for our rabbit recipe. Now, we're going to start out with our cast iron and a skillet up okay. on top. What I'm going to need is probably two of these onions okay. and instead of cutting them in little pieces let's cut them in rings okay thin rings we've got some fresh mushrooms and we decided to go with shiitake on this we're going to tie us together our little bit of parsley a little bit of thyme a little bit of oregano and we're going to make a wonderful rabbit dish quick and easy not that quick an hour maybe total okay. time now again rabbit is delicious if you don't have any rabbit and you want to do this with chicken you can do this just as well but right up the road our buddy at Ghost Mountain Rabbitry, furnished us with some rabbit. We went up there and bought it and we traded around. I'm telling you what, there's nothing like fresh rabbit. It's absolutely delicious, I've never had it. Tell you what I'd like, Nikki, if you will, okay. if you'll cut me up some celery. All right. I'm gonna get me a skillet going here in a minute with some butter in it, third to a half a stick of butter. So you got a bunch of onions and some celery. And let's take a little bit of that garlic, get up in here too. All right. A little bit of our garlic. At this point, Nikki, if you'll get my 12 inch Dutch oven mm -hmm. over here, I'm gonna lay some coals down, start getting it hot. We're going 400 degrees today, which is 10 on the bottom, 19 on the top. All right, so now to go ahead and heat things up a bit. We're gonna go ahead and take most of a beer. Now this is New Belgium Amber Ale. So we're gonna go ahead and get our liquid hot and I don't know, a little over a cup chicken broth. And if you don't do alcohol, don't worry the alcohol will cook out of that. I promise you won't stumble down the stairs after you've had your rabbit. Let's go back to our onions, check them out. They're getting close. At the last minute, we're gonna to toss those mushrooms in there and let them get a little, little bit cooked. Now, Nikki, if you will, I'm gonna lift the top. If you'll dump that into here, we'll let them start cooking. Now right here, we're just gonna take a little bit of thyme, mostly thyme, a little bit of oregano, a little bit of parsley. Okay, drop our bouquet garni. Boom. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of salt. Well, let's actually put a lot of salt and a lot of pepper. That's good, uh, well, a little bit more on the salt. And some pepper. A little salt and a little pepper. Let's just dredge those parts. Look what a good looking piece of Yum. meat. You can't tell me that's not delicious. All right, same pan. Let's not dirty anything up, we don't have to. All right, lightly dredge these in flour. Drop it in. All right, now we're gonna take about two tablespoons of stone ground mustard and a pinch of brown sugar. Well, the, the wonderful thing about this is, is when this is done, you're gonna take your juices because you are the queen of gravy. That's right. And you like your potatoes. So we're gonna make a gravy out of this remaining juice. Oh, yeah. In the end. Now, something I like to use to give it a little celery flavor, it's called nature seasoning. I'm gonna put just a hair of that in. And to add to that good, rich, salty, stocky flavor, I'm gonna drop a chicken bouillon cube in there as well. I can check my rabbit, see where it's at. Yum. Now we're going to get this nice and brown and started, and it's going to finish the rest away in our 12-inch Lodge Dutch oven. Look at there, we're cooking. I'm going to take my rabbit out and lay in here. And I'm going to check this in about 45 minutes, but I'm anticipating about an hour's worth of cooking. And because it's set there and cooked a while, I'm gonna reinforce some of my charcoal. 
Look at that. Now we're gonna leave that as it is, it's done. I had a friend on Facebook the other day who was talking about fried cabbage and just ding, 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 ding with rabbit, are you I've kidding me? I've never hit it, I can't wait. There's nothing to it, old timey thing. We're getting our bacon going, okay? We've got about six pieces of bacon, six, seven pieces of bacon. And we're gonna fry this up till it's done and get some bacon grease. Now that's the same pan we fried rabbit in, it doesn't matter, a little bit of that flour in there, we're only good, thicken it yeah. up later. While the bacon's going, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take this head of cabbage, we're gonna take the first couple layers off, we're gonna cut it up into small, smaller pieces so we can fry it evenly. We're gonna take this onion, cut it up into small rings, kinda like what we did for the rabbit. Okay. We're gonna take the bacon aside once it's done in there, leave most of the grease in there, and we're gonna turn this cabbage over and over and over. Now we're gonna take a little shot, apple cider vinegar, some brown sugar, and the brown sugar gives a little sweet. Now we're gonna come back with some nature seasoning. Not that much. And drop a cube of chicken bouillon in there. When we cut all that up in there, we just keep mixing that over, turn it over until it gets, the, the leaves are very malleable. Okay. And then we got us something special. Okay, look at that. Cabbage is done. It smells delicious. Nikki's gonna take this, put it in another dish. We're gonna use the same skillet to make the gravy with. And we're about to get there. That's gonna be falling off the bone. All right, and you remember the simple way to make gravy. Usually I have cornstarch. This time we had flour, which is works as good. Cornstarch is my favorite, but I do equal parts of flour and water. Mix that up with a fork, and we're just gonna add that in and stir it up, and it's gonna go quick. You're talking boom. Boom, we got gravy. Now look at that. Yum. If that ain't country, you can wow. take it to the bank or something like that. That's what they say. Look at that. It's falling off the bone. Oh, look at that skin mm. right there. That is good. I love your gravy. Oh, I like that. I love your. I gotta try this cabbage. I've never had this before. And You've I love never it. had fried cabbage. No, but I love cabbage. You love that, don't you? Mm-hmm. Oh wow, well, I could eat that. This is one of my new favorite meals. Yum. You wanna start raising rabbits? Maybe, no, let's just buy them, it's easier. Mm, true. Let's go to John. I'm telling you, it's just delicious. Rep's now we're delicious. starving, we had a lot to do on the farm today, but man, oh man, it was worth the wait. And you can tell it's falling off the mm. bone here. When you see that bone sticking out there and it's slid off, it's time to eat. 